Hello there, it's Stieg Plantel, working on a tongue rig for a Slimer character. Something that looks like that, but has controls like this. Pretty fun and ultimately kind of funny. Oh, it also allows us to have this this FK set driven attributes as well. Right. So that's pretty fun. Let's go figure out how it's done as we explore this. So we have the set driven's working very well. Of course, the IKFK switches ready to go. That was made by going edit, add attribute, making a name, minimum zero, maximum one, under a float data type. Okay. Now, this tongue needs that serpentine controllability. So let's do that by going to skeleton, create IK spline handle. The defaults currently are just fine. It says number of spans one. Which you tell me if that makes sense here in a moment. Because I've already built this hierarchy that allows this whole rig to be connected to Slimer. The curve is showing up inside inside the hierarchy just so you might understand what's going on there. So this curve right here, let's name it Tongue, let's see, spline curve, Don't modify center pivot, My center pivot, hmm, gotta really make sure Maya's doing what you're asking it to, okay, hooking this up, so, when you have that curve, if you go to select cluster curve, it's going to make a cluster for every control vert on that curve. So those are located down here, right here. Now I've named this curve that operates the beginning of the tongue as zero one and so on. So I have to relabel these clusters. So let's go cluster 0, 01, cluster 0, 02, cluster 0, 03, and cluster 0, 04. That allows for easier hookup and won't be so confusing. Okay? So these controls are set up with the offset and master, just like I have done in previous tutorials, specifically the Slimer arm tutorial that goes into all of the all of the uh, controllers for FK and IK. So let's hook those up. I know that I'm shooting for number three, control handle three. Okay, so we collect, select the control handle, go to control handle three, and constrain, parent constrain. Uh, let's reset it and just have all of it even though I lock the rotate later, 
Now well, we can turn it off. That's fine. On this one, we'll do this because what we want is it to move this around like this, and that's all I have showing here in the channel box anyway, so we'll, we'll just continue that way. This is going to be the number two going to the control two handle. Parent constrain that with just the translate values selected. And number one, apply. So there is how we get that serpentine action. Now, we still have to hook up the switch here that we have ultimately on this control, this set driven tongue controller that comes out of the IK handle. So we need to go into the connection editor. So we have the IK blend on the left. We can reload it if you're not sure. Reload. And then the resulting curve that we want to use to operate this IK on and off switch. So let's put that in the right. And we're going to go from the IK switch to the blend. We want the code to be on the blend. So let's do it this way and see if it's working. IK FK switch. Looks like there's this little jolt, so it looks like it's working. Let's move these around. Yeah, it is working on all three. So we put this back to zero. Do these work now? They work, but they're not the the joint chain is not updating until it gets switched back. So we want that tongue stretch to work. Let's get those hooked up so these controllers can stick to it. So we're going to gun for this one. It's going to be the offset. So this is uh, OK. Turn that back there. Let's put the IK on. Now understand these pivots are not quite on place. So let's let's do just that. Let's snap those to where we want them. This has to be in FK mode. Okay, that should be a little better. Let's just make sure. Okay, those have been moved, so they need to be modified freeze, tra freeze transforms for the translate. Let's make sure the offset has all of the translation data that we've come to expect in a rig like this. Let's freeze that one. Check the uh, grouping hierarchy. There's the offset data and this one. And freeze the transformations and just check offset and zeroed out master group which is connected to the set driven group that is then connected to the head the jaw joint specifically so here we are we have tongue left and right we can switch it to IK spline IK and get our serpentine tentacle like tongue. Turn on that turn on that uh, tongue geometry and watch it go. That's our rig that allows us to do like this. Enjoy!